just went to society. Nobody should ever have to go through what any of us have gone through. A serial killer in prison for decades is sparking fear again tonight with his potential freedom. A plea deal made back in the late 1970s is opening the door for the possible release of a murderer named Don Miller. But tonight's 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards tells us the family of one of his victims and others are fighting to keep that door closed. Decades after Christine Gusky Stewart's horrific death, her family too heartbroken to talk on camera right now after learning her killer may walk the streets once again. Inside a picture frame, Ken Gusky still has the printed poem his oldest daughter, Christine Gusky Stewart, known as Chris, wrote for him for his birthday decades ago. She was well liked, even loved by many in her Port Huron town. I was a school teacher and uh, grew up in this community, well respected, well loved by the, the community. Your family was been in this community all their lives. While her poem about life sounded like someone who lived a long, fulfilling one, Chris's life was cut way too short. At just 30 years old, Chris was taken away from her loving husband and family in the late 1970s when she was murdered in cold blood by serial killer Don Miller while she was living in Lansing. By phone, we spoke to Chris's sister-in-law. Very kind, welcoming person, loved family. Back then, Miller told police he thought that Chris was his girlfriend, who had been his first victim. Chris was his last. In the 1970s, Miller killed four women. His fifth victim, a 14-year-old girl, survived after she was sexually assaulted. Meanwhile, Chris's death devastated loved ones. Well, everybody was just devastated. I mean, you can't believe it. You know, you know somebody that's going to happen to them. In 1979, Miller struck a plea deal, which meant he would serve time in prison, but did not get life behind bars. People were upset about it because they knew that he had killed these four women, but the reality was that I, I guess there wasn't enough evidence to convict him of the four murders, and then within you know hours of the plea bargain, apparently he led him to all four bodies, so obviously he was the one that did it. Now as he approaches his 38th anniversary of when he was arrested, Miller is up for parole this month. He's a threat to society. Nobody should ever have to go through what? any of us have gone through. It's a public safety issue. You know, if this guy gets out, you know, the chances of him doing it again, I, I certainly wouldn't want to have a, a relative or anybody I knew in the East Lansing area. And that is why Pat Cogley, one of Chris's old high school friends, is one of several circulating a petition gathering signatures to send to the Michigan Department of Corrections to stop that from happening. Society. And letters have been sent to the MDOC as well, pleading with the parole board to keep Miller locked up, including State Attorney General Bill Schutte, who said, quote, the horrifying details of his crimes alone are sufficient reason to keep Miller behind bars. Over the course of 20 months, Miller murdered four women, including his fiance. Miller strangled three of his victims and stabbed the fourth one 17 times. Chris's parents also sending a letter saying, quote, Christine's murder was an unnecessary, heinous crime. Miller alone is personally responsible for her murder and creating an enormous loss within the family. There's no excuse for Miller's action. And the comfort we have is knowing that Donald Miller is incarcerated where he cannot harm anyone else. And if the parole board agrees to grant him parole, he will next have to get the approval of two judges. Tara Edwards, 7 Action News.